Hello everybody, it is Scavenger Scout here, and we are going to be playing more Fallout 3. Let us continue. What the fuck was I doing? Oh, yeah. No, I'm keeping that in. I'm just not even fine, editing fine. that out. Where? Hey, don't mind the smell. I was just testing a few chemicals. But it's perfectly safe to Bro. breathe. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get started on your next chapter, huh? The second chapter is going to be a bit... Alright, yeah, it was Morats, Meyer Lurks, and How to Hurt Yourself. We need to hurt ourselves first. Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away, or trying to bleed out and all that. Well, today... But obviously, oh. you can handle a lot of abuse. Yeah. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here. So I can examine you before I heal you up. Not I mean, a problem. You're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Yep. I guess I'll go get hurt eventually. <laughs> wow, what a great research assistant you are. I mean, really, that's dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. And I'll take notes All and right. fix you up. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. So don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. So, oh, and be careful. Hmm. Yeah, let's go get injured. Take care. It's a big wasteland. But you know that better than me, right? Oh, really? Just below 50 health and one injury? All right. Psh, we got this. It auto-saved when we left the store. Let's jump. <laughs> what up? No! Okay, that's too far. That's too far, everybody. Ladies and gents, what have we figured out? Don't do that. Oh, cool. So, maybe like this? Oh, fuck. Alright. So, I had this idea, right? Because we got all those landmines. <laughs> <laughs> like, what could go bad if we walk outside in an attempt to blow part of ourselves up? It's like the quickest way, right? We got this. Oh, and I'm gonna give him some water. You saved my life. Because he just asks for water. You've helped me so much. You Take all my water. I'll never forget you. Sorry, I don't have any. Please, if you find. I wonder, if, like, where he's keeping it all. <laughs> like, there's got to be a stash. All right. Item. Grognak the barbarian. Melee weapons increase. Fuck yeah. Ah, uh, okay. We got a grenade here, and we're gonna save. I don't trust myself. A nice little spot here. I'll sit down on it. Oh. Ah, I blew my arm off. <laughs> I think I did it. I think I did it. I, yep. <laughs> I blew my fucking arm. Fuck you, my arm. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh. Are you coming up? Here. You've done so much for us. I want you to have this. It's all I have to offer you. Uh, certainly, thank you. Certainly. It's the least I could do after all you've done. Oh, I turned off a bomb. I fixed some... I'm helping Moira, I guess. I don't know what exactly she... I mean, it's a wasteland survival guide. I get what she, she, her plan is, but I don't... Is she going to sell it from her shop? Like, who's going to buy it? Look, my arm's fucked up. Well, how do you feel? This really hurts. Oh, I know it does, dear. But it's for a good cause. <laughs> uh, try not to squirm so much while I take notes. Uh huh. Now, how would you describe the pain you're feeling? Any advice for how to keep it from being overwhelming? Hmm. And remember, this is for posterity. Prosperity. The adrenaline helps, so I don't. <laughs> so the. So does the fear of death. There's a lot of both. 
My only solace is thinking about the inflicting this pain on people like you. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, that right, makes the a adrenaline lot of sense. And, death. and it does help when you're sewing up wounds and setting bones, too. My that seems like God, it'd be tough lady. to do alone. Luckily, I'm here to patch you up. Now hold still and quit fidgeting. Man. Ugh. How can you be walking around like this? Nah. So my last doctor said when they carved a piece okay. out of me. Okay, I even stitched a little smiley face in you to keep you up your spirit. Bitch. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see from your side, though. Here, take this environment suit of mine. It will help with medical tasks, and it should help prevent the effects of exposure, too. I'm ready for more research on the second chapter, man. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I needed to be tested on a few mole rats before uh -huh. I can say it's a success. There's a lot we don't know about Mirelurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. That definitely deserves research. And that should be it for the second chapter. Which do you want to check out? Play with some mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything yeah, and cause a crazy. lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. Mm. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. All right, yeah. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. Yeah, I'll test out your repellent It'll for you. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. All right. Then they're gone before you know it. Cool. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties. <sighs> But for real testing, what are the try it on 10 or more. Right, there should be no plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Oh, you got a location? All right. Not a problem, dude. Yeah, let's talk about your mole repellent real Oh, quick. I can't wait to hear how the repellent's working. Oh. Well, that's not really what I wanted to say, so let's pretend we didn't say that. All right, let's go. I was hoping we could ask about the repellents. What is this? Oh, straight up repellent stick? Okay. Moira, did you put green radiated goo on the end of a wooden stick? She did straight up. Alright. Well, let's see what it, what it does on actual creatures, too. Let's do a loop around the city, see if we can't find them. Actually, more ass around here or something, right? It's fucking ants and a dead raider, so. Right. <laughs> Bathtub. Bird, 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 burn. Burn is a word. Sorry. Surfing her. <laughs> Hey, there's one. Hey, buddy. How's it going? It has an explosive effect on their heads. That's beautiful. That is not what she was going for. Alright. Aw, oh, you fuckers. Does little to no damage on them. Alright. Alright, Does little to no damage also. Those are some vicious dogs. Um, Dang. Where is my ice cold Nuka Cola? There we go. Dog meat. More dog meat. More dog meat. Ah! More rat. <laughs> Take the repellents. <laughs> My goodness, that's effective. Alright, so where the fuck does Moira want us to actually go with this thing? 
I'm just having a good time myself. That's a robot, ain't it? It's a robot. Either way, we're taking this robot out because that shit don't need to be around. Ah! Oh, fuck. Hit me with your stupid laser beams. Hey, energy cells. Alright, I'll take it. Just trying to do my full lap right now with my grenades and stuff. It's a nice little episode. Walking around, blowing shit up, smacking more ants in the face with a stick. Oh, motherfucker, that's three. Now I need to do it with like a uh, more. I need to get more and more ends. I was hoping M for map. Not not the case. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so we straight up just need to go this way? Alright. Something see me? Hey buddy. I don't know where you came from, but I'm glad you did. I don't see anything else. Alright, let's whip out our grenades until we see more. Right? Never know what's gonna try to fucking play with us. Ah. Pretty bootyful. A quick save, real quick. Boop. Just keep that in. I don't even care. Oh. We got a puppers. Wait, that's not my combat blade. I was like, this knife looks different. <laughs> oh yeah, what does a sawed off do? Down, puppy. It's like the sawed off is how we're gonna go for now. <laughs> Walking through the sand with my firearm in my hand. Don't really got a plan. Cause I'm just a wandering man. Let's go down to the fallout. Sewer way station? Ew. I'm gonna check it out, but I'm looping around at first so that I can tell if there's anything evil wanting to tear off my fleshy bits. You know, the important things. No, it looks like we're good. Oh! See, this is why we loop. Steam gauge is up, that's it. Alright. Those monsters, they're, they're gonna get me. What? What's the matter? Those things. They keep coming. They scare me. Make it stop. Hey, hey, hey. Calm down. It's gonna be okay. I promise. No. Those things. They're right behind me. Leave me alone. Unless you tell me what the problem is, I can't help you. Those things. It's all their fault. They did this to us. Okay, kid. I'm gonna say this once. Stop your whining. No! You don't care. The grown-ups never cared. Now they're all dead. Well, fine. You'll just die, too. Alright, I'm sorry. Calm down. Tell me what's going on. Please don't get mad at me. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. Just help me. <laughs> Promise you'll help me! I'd like to help, but I need to know what's going on first. But, you guys have a good morning, good evening, or good night. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been Scavenger Scout, signing out.